Recently, Jimmy Kimmel made a series of videos deriding people for watching video gaming, which now has totaled over 7 million views. I suggested that watching other people play video games is a double waste of time. What was unexpected was the overwhelming negative reaction when he was blindsided by more than a total of 300,000 dislikes. Jimmy, your video making fun of people who watch gaming on YouTube really pissed me off, man. How did this happen to such a well-liked personality? So if one of you wants to invite me over, we can watch people play video games together and who knows, maybe I'll like it. In the meantime, go outside and play. <laughs> Well, the stigma towards the geeky gamer who doesn't go outside is nothing new. It's just outdated now. The kids who stayed inside playing video games are now billionaires advocating others to do the same. The average age of a gamer in 2015 is actually 35. I'm fighting with a group made up mostly of 12-year-old boys. <laughs> and 155 million people play video games in the US alone. With this in mind, it comes to no surprise that the League of Legends Season 3 World Championship had more viewers than the World Series and the NBA Finals. Yes, watching other people play video games is now more popular than watching baseball and basketball. However, fighting games are still lagging behind compared to their physical contact counterparts like boxing and MMA. Would you like to have me in the ring with you? I'll sing, I'll walk beside you, I'll do whatever I have to. No, no I'll problem. fight Justin Bieber, I don't care what has to happen. <laughs> It's not hard to imagine why sports involving people in tip-top shape wailing on each other would be more popular than gamers pressing buttons while sitting, but I think fighting gaming has more going for it than it gets credit for. Here are some reasons why I think competitive fighting gaming is better than competitive fighting. No judges required. In most fighting games, there are two fighters each with their own health bar. The person who can deplete his or her opponent's health bar first wins a round. That's really all you need to know to enjoy the game, and everything is measured by the game itself. In actual fighting, judges are crucial in determining who won the fight because otherwise, a lot of people would be dead. Because so many victories don't end in a knockout, spectators new to the sport might not know who won or who's winning. Sometimes the fighters themselves don't know. I thought I won the fight. You thought you won the fight? Why? He didn't do nothing. He always, um, you know. Anyone can play and compete in the same tournament. Fighting games get a lot of flack for not requiring any standard of physical prowess in order to compete. Fair enough, but I think that's the beauty of it. In most fighting game tournaments, anyone can play and everyone joins the same competition. There are no separate leagues based on age, weight, gender, or even physical disabilities. A random kid with the gamer tag Skullzer can sign up and play one of America's best players at the biggest fighting game tournament in the world. He's just a boy! Oh no, not three perfects, please! Gustavo! No! Oh my God. Welcome. No! Welcome. No! Welcome to Evolution 2015, Skullzer. Oh my God. Hype. Of course, hype is not unique to fighting games, but it's kind of developed its own meaning among fighting game players. It's not just the feeling of excitement you get when you see a weigh-in for a marquee matchup, or when you watch a movie teaser. It's a combination of the suspense and anticipation you get from a match where a life-changing outcome will be determined in minutes or seconds. This happens in sports like basketball at the end of the fourth quarter, but in fighting games, this can happen every other minute. Because matches are so quick and spontaneous, hype has been ingrained into fighting game culture. Even matches ending without a knockout can be hype. No one gets hurt. Actually, that's not entirely true. There's the guy who was stabbed over a King of Fighters match, and apparently someone lost an eye after a Killer Instinct match by accident. But the point is that no one becomes a winner because they gave someone a concussion. And the Hail Mary right hand. Fighting games retain all the excitement, training, trash talk, passion, and personalities without the violence. But let's be real. If we're comparing real fighting to video game fighting, there's no contest. You trying to hug him too much? You trying to hug him too much? You don't have to look at Floyd Mayweather's bank account to know that people are more attracted to a real fight than a virtual one. However, fights are not what they used to be. Are you not entertained? We can't have fights to the death anymore, and fighting leagues like the UFC had to tone themselves down in order to expand to a mainstream audience. As a result, this is what the fight of the century looked like. The question is not whether fighting games are better than boxing, 
but if Jimmy Kimmel is right to think that this is a good use of time, and this is a waste of time. Ultimately, watching sports or esports are both unproductive activities, but that's why we do them. We can't be productive all the time. Whether we prefer to watch video games or someone getting punched in the head, does it matter how we spend our time being unproductive? Give it up for James. Bring it in, James. I love you, man. I love you. And do we really need Justin Bieber when we have Jamie Lee Curtis? I play Street Fighter more than you will ever. Are you know. a Ryu or Ken person? I'm, I'm Cammy. Okay. 